Hello, I'm Courtney West. I'd like to purchase that gem over there. Give it to me. Only if you promise you'll buy the rest of your shirt with the money. Ancient statuette produced in 197, connected to the Philosopher's Stone quest. I've been humping that thing around for ages, so yeah, let's get rid of it. Uh, that's more than I paid, but less than it's worth. How do you feel about 700 grand? Do you have any wiggle room? <laughs> do you have all the wiggle room in the world right there? Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in Dealer's Life 2, where somebody has actually reclaimed a pawn. I mean, I got 144 grand for it, but I don't know what they picked up. So let's do a quick tour through the inventory again. I had two things that were on pawn, didn't I? I had you and you. Did I have something else back here? No, because it's just that brooch. All right, well, I don't know what it was. It wasn't anything I cared about. Uh, you're four days. You're four days. So I'm, hopefully we'll get this by the end of the episode, or at least get my friggin' two million bucks back. Okay, we got you, you're 630. You are a million and a half. Oh, I really need to sell some of this stuff. You're going to the auction. I think we made five million in the mock auction, if I remember right. Uh, you're three million one hundred and fifty thousand, so that's decent. That's three. I've got a lot of money tied up in inventory. Like that's okay. How did I pay? Oh, because I added on to it because I'm doing the repair. Okay, so that better end up worth like four million and change, or I'm going to get completely hosed on that. That's worth less, and you are worth another three and a half million. So I have one, two, three, four items worth three million bucks a piece, and one worth one and a half million. And I need to shift some of this crap, hopefully this week, because I want to get money back. Now, let's go do the auction. Let's sell the skull. Hopefully we get a little more than the five million we got in the mock auction. And just at least get us some buy-in money so we can actually... Yeah, at least get us some breathing room. You better not go for four million one. You better not go for four million six. Oh, there we go, four million nine. There's the five million we got last time. All right, well, it got me actually made a little bit of money, I think. All right, I'll let Editor Digby put in there whether or not we... Uh, Got more money at the mock auction, but that being said, let's open up and go to work. I'm here to inform you that everything is going to cost less for a while. It will be harder to make... What do you mean harder? It's already harder than hell to make a profit. Everybody's trying to screw me over. Um, can I actually... Okay, so I got a two-star chance of trying to stick to the item's real value. I'm trying to play these more now that I'm starting to figure out what they do. So you know what? Let's try and stick to the actual value. That did not work, but I'm going to get stuff cheap. Hello there, they call me Florian Nadal. I just fell in love with that gem over there, ready to take my money. You have got a huge stack of money, so hopefully it's one of my big items. It's my one and a half million. Yes, I need money. Let's talk. Um, you're not getting it for below market. I know that guy's kind of screwed me on the buy prices, but you know what? How do you feel about a million seven hundred fifty thousand bucks? Just as a starting point. You're not sure? You're going to take it. Please tell me you're going to take it. You're not entirely sad. <laughs> you have no idea how little your satisfaction means to me. Half a million bucks. Perfect. Okay, and we're back up to ten. Hey, what's up? They call me Johnny Cryer. No relation to Barry Cryer. I want to buy that piece over there. I've been looking for it for ages. I suppose that could be a John Cryer joke as well. All right, let's see. Bellum Tower. Uh, 108. I paid. It's worth 102. I mean, the Berry Cry reference was pretty good. No offense to anybody, but... Alright, what do you got? 136. 102, 108. Alright, you're gonna pay me 136. I paid 108. How do you feel about 150? Let's see if I can juke you up slightly. Cool, he's happy. Alright, I'm actually making decent money. Oh, Timmy West. And you took my lowest, like, million dollar item. So, you must want one of my three millions. You say you're not going to leave it here. <laughs> Trust me, you are not. All right, I paid two million. That's worth three right off the bat. Let's talk. You're willing to go three million six. How do you feel about four million even? I'm going to get like repetitive strain injury from typing zeros. Well, whatever he accepts. Oh my God, fourteen million. Holy crap! 
today is going well. Hi, my name is Ishmael Bridges. Call me Ishmael. I want a little treasure, now you've showered me money. Okay. Old decorated rug connected to feudal Japan. Did not belong to my grandfather, trust me. Million two, what do you think, expert? You don't think at all, you're brain dead. All right, yeah, let's talk some numbers. You won't go too far from a million one. Well, I tell you what, you can go to 800,000, or you can go to a different store. That's way too many zeros, Digby. There you go. Okay, deal, perfect. Good morning, name's Suyin Teach. I found a little treasure while I was checking my hand. You did not have a recliner or a friggin' armchair in your handbag. Nice try. Let's talk. Old decorated armchair, produced in 1837, connected to Victorian age. 43,000 is crap. I'm not even gonna worry about it being a fake, so I can eat that kind of money. How much? How do you feel about 20,000? Because, quite frankly, I don't even want your tatty old piece of crap. You're not taking it seriously. What if I say 49,000? You can say 49,000 all the way out the door. I'll see if there's an echo. Hello there. My name is Tiffany Johnson. I want to buy that item. I bet you want to get rid of it. You bet your butt I want to get rid of it. That's a $3 million piece. I paid two million five. Talk to me. You willing to go to three million six? How do you feel about four million? Oh, and that's 40 million. Let's not try and screw that bad, Digby. 40 million, you'd rather three... You'd rather say three million seven. I'd rather say three million eight then. Nope, oh, that's a two. Always check your numbers before you hit go. Okay, three million eight. What do you think? You're not entirely satisfied, but I'll take it. Sucks to be you. Okay. Morning, my name is Jane Boyette. I was cleaning up the bathroom when I found something. Should I say any more? It's a candle. In a little bronze candle holder. Old decorated candlestick produced in 1635, connected to the Ming Dynasty. It's a fake. I can already see it. Um, you know what? I've only got two customers. Let's see what this dude says. Expert takes a quick look at the item, says it's an estimate. Sure, it's fake. I tell you what, we can try this. I don't know it looks fake. You know, you got it. It's a huge discount if you take it anyway. Let's talk. How do you feel about... I'm going to gamble on 50 grand. Whoops. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm going zero happy in this one. 136 for 240. I'm not going to get that much for it as a replica. How do you feel about 75,000? 134. You're really going to chip. I might do this anyway. How do you feel about 125? Let's try this as an experiment. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Suck it. I don't care if you're satisfied. Yeah, it's a fake, but I'm going to turn it into a reproduction. Good morning, my name is Shia Presley. I found a unique piece. I need to pawn it. All right, it's not that unique. I've had a few of those before. Ancient painting connected to the Bronze Age of Collectibles belonged to the guy that I don't know who that's supposed to be. Uh, what do you think it's worth? Oh, God, you're a huge help. Let's talk. Guess the price. 50 grand. How do you feel about that? Two million three on a pawn? Uh, how do you feel about a million and a half? I mean, I could probably get more than that for it when it's done. Let me think. You don't have to think. You're still not there. I'm sorry. You know You know what? See ya. I'd rather have 17 million bucks than your piece of crap. So get stuffed. I've only got six things in inventory. Holy crap. All right. Turn you into a reproduction, please. Yes. Okay. Now how much is it worth? 50,000. So if I'd gotten it for the 50, I still probably wouldn't have made money on it. That's all right, it was an experiment. Oh, something else I meant to do before we get out of here. No, 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 come back. Um, the bank, yes. Investments, let's do an investment. I'm gonna do another high risk because I like the payout. But I'm thinking, let's do three million this time. Hopefully it'll pay off. Okay, three million, yes please. I wanna invest three million. That leaves me with close to 15. I won't know for a couple more episodes. I don't need a loan, so that's all fine. Now we could technically upgrade the shop. Oh no, we can't. That's 20 million. Never mind. Ooh. Why are we getting an auction on day two? Okay, yes, I need inventory, please. That's two and a half million. Yeah, I'll go for that. That works for me. Million two. I'll go as high as maybe two million, because I can probably get three for it if I have to. Although I have a feeling we're going to get to 2 million really quickly. Nope, I take it back. All right, that was a hell of a good deal. Oh, commemorative football. How much are you worth? 11,000. 
Uh, I need inventory. Okay, I'll do four bids on it, and that's as high as I'm going. That's my third bid. That's my fourth. So if it goes any higher than this, it can just go. Nope, see ya. Don't awe me, I don't mind missing out on that. That was a piece of crap. Okay, old gold necklace, that's a decent price, I like that. Starting price is 730, so it's probably a million and a half. I'll go up to a million, give or take, a little over, maybe. Come on, buying stuff's supposed to be easier. Does that count on the auction as well? Alright, well, it must count as auctions as well, because everything I got at the auction I wanted came in way under budget. Now, let's take a look at these things and see what we think. Alright, what'd I get? I got that. I paid 930. No idea what it's worth. That I paid one and a half and it's worth two and a half. And I've still got 12 million bucks, so if a really, really big ticket item walks through the door... Oh my god, I want this. <laughs> it's Squidward and Da Vinci's Man, so yes. Hello there, I'm Marius Simpson. I'm here with a little treasure. It will surely be worth a lot of money. Oh yes it is, it's a Da Vinci sketch, is what it is. Renaissance painting produced in 1566, connected to the colonization of the Americas. It's a fake... Crap! God damn it! I wanted it. I have to. I mean, that is the coolest Squidward thing I've ever seen in my life. I I absolutely love it. <laughs> I would have that on a real poster on my actual wall. All right. Well, it's a fake, so I don't even have to deal with this. Maybe we can get it cheap. All right. Let's deal. You're asking three hundred, so maybe twenty-five thousand I could get for it as a reproduction. You're thinking 255. I'm thinking 25,000. I'm going to keep saying 25,000 until you go away. I don't think we'll ever come to an agreement. I will try and brainwash you for the 25 grand. Take it or leave it. Okay, you're going to take you're going to just leave it. All right. Let me think. Can I still rat you out to the cops? No, I can't. Oh, God damn it. I really wanted that thing. Hi, my name is Gary Fassbender. I'm not even going to make the joke. You guys know who Fassbender is. This other piece over there, you should consider selling it to me. Let's talk, because it's going to be good. Alright, it's my rug. I paid 800 It's worth a million, too. You're going to give me a million and a half. Or you're going to give me an itch that I'm only going to have to throw you out the door to scratch. A uh, million, two thousand five. You know what? A little bit more than what you said, but I'll take it. You're really far... What? Literally $100,000? Well, I got... No, I need the brainwasher in case something I got turns out to be fake. Oh. All right, bye. I really would have liked to sell you that, but... Hey, what's up? They call him Melisandre Sonye. I brought a little treasure. Have a look. It's a microwave, and it looks like you cooked a poop in it. Luxury microwave produced in 2007 belonged to Steve Jobs. It's bad. It's garbage, but I need inventory. So, yeah. Why did I waste an expert on that? Let's talk. Yeah, done. I just want inventory space. Morning, my name's Miles Becker. I'd like to purchase that piece over there. I got big cash for you. It's not that big, but it's got to be a million something, give or take. Okay, old golden necklace. That's the one we bought at the auction. Talk to me. How do you feel about a million and a half as a starting point? I will come down. You're thinking 9.30. I paid 9.30, dude. One and a quarter. One million? It's only 70,000 profit, but... Oh, you know what? A million one. I gotta make a little bit of money on this thing. One million twenty. I tell you what, a million and twenty, I will take. Oh god, I'm typing so many zeros today. I mean, I like it. It's nice. Hello, my name is Will Bridges. I won something. Now you'll shower me with money. It looks like something out of a Goosebumps book. Ancient decorated chest produced in 614 belonged to Liam Nee's son. Okay. What's it worth? 760? Uh, I could probably just go with my own estimates now. At this point, I'm getting pretty close. Uh, 500k. Talk to me. 740 on a 760. I'm not going to get that much money for it. Uh, how do you feel about 650? 730. How do you feel about 700? I've only got eight things in the inventory, so it's not the end of the world. All right, cool. Last customer of the day. What do you got? Hi, they call me Shoe Gatsby. I want a little treasure. 
Yeah, that'd be Chu Gatsby. What a little treasure, isn't it awesome? I'm, my pronunciation of Chinese is sketchy at best. Okay, medieval silver-bound book produced in 1219, connected to the Middle Ages, belonged to George Arlington. So George Hamilton's Middle Age book. Well, might as well waste it on that. Ooh, seven million is a very lovely number. Yes, let's talk. How do you feel about five million? Can I get it for two million less? Six million four is tempting. Not as tempting as five and a half million is. At least to me. Well, oh, please tell me you're going to let me have that. Ah, oh, suck your satisfaction. I've got next week's auction piece. Okay. Restore Leonard just finished the Ancient Silver Necklace. It's now worth five million. We need to do some inventory stuff is what we need to do. Okay, you're never going to sell, I don't think. That's pawned. I got two days left on it. I really desperately want it. That's pawned. Two days left. I really desperately want it. You, I paid three million. You're now worth five. And you would be getting locked up, except for the fact that... All right, you're a million two. You just, I need to get rid of because that was just embarrassing. I mean, I, I can eat that. 50,000. It's not going to kill me. You're worth 2 million. You're worth nothing. You're worth 760. Can I fix it up? No, but I can lock it up. All right, there's the next auction. Now, unfortunately, I'm down to 7 million bucks. So, let's go make some of that filthy, filthy lucre. Hi, you can call me Olga Favaza. I'd like to show you a little treasure I need to make some money. That looks like uh, Marvin the Paranoid Android from the really crappy Hitchhikers remake. Vinmar, the paranoid android produced in 2004, belonged to Elon Musk. It's mythic, it's terrible. I mean, it's tempting because I do like Marvin. And that was Alan Rickman that did the voice. Uh, all right, it's worth a million two. I'm half tempted to clean it up and keep it. All right, let's talk. How do you feel about 750,000? It is kind of sketchy looking. Like, it's definitely going to need some polish. Okay, you're not entirely satisfied, but you'll take it. I'm going to have to think about whether or not I want to fix it up and keep it. Hi, my name's Stanley McCartney, and I inherited a little treasure. It will surely be worth a lot of money. It looks like, for all the world, a gold toilet that's shaped like a frog. Golden Collectible Toilet, produced in 1908, belonged to Franklin D. Roosevelt. How much is a golden toilet worth? The expert takes a quick look at the item and says that he's quite sure its value is 370 grand. All right, well, Donald Trump, your toilet wasn't worth half as much as I thought it was. Uh, that's fine, a golden toilet. I mean, come on. If about 150. Let's go right for half price. You're thinking 340. Well, in that case, I'm thinking 250. You're saying 325. I'll say 300. You'll let me have it, and everybody's gonna die happy. Yes? You don't know. You think you can accept it? That's what I thought. Okay, what the hell is this? I'm getting all kinds of new stuff today. Wow, look at your name. Hey, what's up? My name is Wilhelmina Randleman. I want to give you a unique piece. It could be yours for the right price. Well, talk to me. I've never seen one before. Traditional Korean statue produced in 1764 connected to the Russian Empire belonged to Martin Luther Prince, a.k.a. Martin Luther King. It's legendary. It's in good shape. It's a home item with... Oh, I'd love to have that if that guy showed back up. I don't know why I wasted an expert on it, because I've only got six million bucks I can spend on it, but I'm willing to try. How do you feel about five million, just off the bat? I mean, you could surprise me. Nine million six. Oh, come on, I want the thing. Six million, darling. That's all I got in the world. Nope. Sorry. Hello there. You can call me Fan Compton. I've got a little treasure. Take a look. Tell me you want it. It's a blender. It's a cooking machine that belonged to Pele that's worth 30,000 lousy bucks. Uh, I have 12 items. You know what? This is going to be my last cheap item of the day. The rest of them, I don't care anymore. you epic. You're very good. You're home. Uh, there is a trick I could do. I need to remember this, too, for next time. I need about 20 grand, because I don't really feel like spending more than that. Bye. Hi, you can call me Jesse Belly. I'd like that gem over there. Would you sell it to me? Absolutely, son. Oh, you want to buy my toilet? I literally had that in inventory for about a minute. Half a million bucks. I mean, come on. Donald Trump pooped in it. It's got to be worth it. Really? No? I'll brainwash you. How do you feel about 450? You're going to be snooty about that one, too. Uh, I paid 300 It's 350 Done. It's yours. Let's get it out of my inventory. Good morning. I'm Fritz Sanders. I really need to buy that gem over there. You should consider selling it to me. Talk to me. Yes, you can have it, dude. It's all yours. What do you want to give me for it? 17's close enough. Bye. Hi there. They call me Mike Fisher. I found a unique piece while I was checking my car. It will surely be worth a lot of money. It's a top, and it looks broken. 
Renaissance toy produced in 1569. We have no idea what it's worth, and neither do I, because I have no more experts. Four grand is not worth my time. Hi, they call me Gaius Yuan. I borrowed a little treasure. You can't miss it. Talk to me. It's got to be worth more than four grand, right? Medieval gold metal produced in 1257. It's a wearable. It's in bad shape. I don't know what it's worth either. How do you feel about 5,000 bucks? Just to start. 22.5? Uh, I would say 10,000 or hit the pavement. You don't know? Okay, hit the pavement. See ya. I am not going to mess around with that today. I got enough good stuff in here as it is. Now, is there anything in here I can clean up that's worth cleaning up? Marvin, dude, I was going to clean you up, actually. So, yes, one million six. Clean up Marvin. I'm very, very tempted to keep Marvin just because Marvin's cool. What else do we got? All right, Marug the dude wanted but didn't want to pay. That's an embarrassment I can't wait to get rid of. And I've got a lot of good stuff. I got my book locked up ready for the auction. And I just need buyers. Hello there, they call me Lenny Davis. I was cleaning up the kitchen when I found something isn't it awesome. It is a sailboat, so yes, it is extremely awesome. Sailboat produced in 1977. It's mythic. It's in good shape. And it's worth probably more money than I have. Yes? No, I can get this for under a million? Oh, yes, please. How do you feel about half a million? 650? I'll take it. Done. I don't feel like arguing with you. Hi, my name is Valentine Kuhn. I actually knew a lady named Kuhn. She was a real nice lady. I just obtained something. I want to pawn it. Let's see. El Kabak, a monastery souvenir produced in 1927. It's a rarity. It's a little Do I actually want to carry your pawn for like 10 grand? I mean, sure, I guess. You don't want to, how do you feel about eight? I must well get it even cheaper if I can. You know what? 10 sounds fine, because that's where I was at to start with. So yeah, 10,000 is all yours. Hi, my name is Marco Schultz. I can't get my off that gem over there. Are you ready to take my money? Let's talk. You want my chest full of goo. You are absolutely welcome to Pandora's box. I paid 760. You're going to give me a million for it, yes? He says in the difficult seller era. You're not sure? Cool beans. All right, I'll take the million. Hello, I'm Courtney West. I'd like to purchase that gem over there. Give it to me. Only if you promise you'll buy the rest of your shirt with the money. Ancient statuette produced in 197, connected to the Philosopher's Stone quest. I've been humping that thing around for ages, so yeah, let's get rid of it. Uh, that's more than I paid, but less than it's worth. How do you feel about 700 grand? Do you have any wiggle room? <laughs> do you have all the wiggle room in the world right there? You don't know... Oh, God, everybody's being obstinate today. Tell you what, market. That's what you're getting it for. I mean, come on, market is fair, yeah? 520. If you can do 550, I'll let you have it for below market cost. What do you think? Well, perfect. Again, don't care if you're satisfied. I care only that you're out of my store and you left your money here. Hi, then. Call me Ju Supra. Okay, so a Chinese name and a French name. I kept something in the kitchen for ages. I want to get rid of it. Let's talk. What do you got? Old golden brooch produced in 1797. It's rare. It's very good. It's worth 33 grand. I mean, it's... It's meh. It's 29,000. I mean, I got plenty of inventory slots. Oh, dude, I love the belt buckle. All right, you're thinking 20. How do you feel about 15? I won't go too low. I mean, it's just tat anyway. Who cares? All right, well, hi, what's up? My name is Daniel Sanchez. I'm thinking about buying that piece over there. Prepare to fight for it. It's going to be that thing I... Oh, no, it's my decorative candlestick. Yes, make me an offer. It's all yours. Done. Okay, I actually made a little bit of money today. Not a great deal. Not as much as I need to make. All right, well, I did get that. The owner's not redeemed the item. They've never. Of course I get to keep the stupid knife. I wanted the goddamn... Oh, I take it back. That's actually worth two and a half million. It's not as good as the other thing was. Okay, look, I've got all kinds of money. I got five million bucks. Two and a half million bucks. Like seven and a half million. There's another seven. What else do I got that's a big ticket item? How much was that rug? Yeah, million two. So I got like eight or nine million bucks worth of freaking stuff to shift here. Come on, people. Holy crap. Do you want to go on an adventure with me? It's Indiana Jane again. You hosed me for like a hundred grand last time we chatted. I've heard about an invaluable treasure hidden someone. I'm going to rescue it for sure. It'll be a historic expedition, an epic search. I might do this. 
Every mission needs funds to be successful. If you'll be my sponsor, I'll grant some visibility to your shop and share part of the treasure with you. You know what? It's four million bucks. She hosed me last time. I'm probably going to get hosed again this time, but God damn it, I need to know. Daily customers, 20% for two more. Oh, cool. All right. Hey, you can call me Whitney Rodriguez. I want that gem over there. I'll pay cash. Yes, please. Two and a half million. You're going to give me three for it. I bet. I bet. He says optimistically. Two million. Oh, for God's sakes. I paid a million five. How do you feel about two and a half? I mean, that's pretty close to market value. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to pop another zero on that bad boy. Thank you, game, for not letting me do that stupid thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Okay. That sentence got cut off in mid, like, thought. Okay, sorry. I needed a minute to recover from this. This is the biggest stack of cash I have ever seen. Hey, what's up? You can call me Page Snow. I want that piece over here. I won't leave. Oh, trust me. You do not have to worry about that. You want my $5 million necklace. Yes. You're going to give me 6-2, which means you're going to give me 7 Oh, all of the zeros. You're not sure. You accept it. 14 million. We are back, baby. Hi, my name's Fausto Parsons. I like that item. I really want it. You've got a pretty righteous stack. So yeah, a million two on the rug is a good deal. Guess a price. Million five. I paid eight. That's no nope. more zeros. More zeros. I think a nine seventy. Well, I tell you what. How do you feel about slightly over the market value? Do you feel good about that? All right, cool. He accepts. There's another half a million. Hi, my name is Yon Tao. I found a unique piece while I was checking the house. I want to get rid of it. Okay. It's not that unique. I've had one before. Old silver watch. Produced in 1803. Belonged to Pavarotti. It's not worth a great deal of money. Not enough to waste an estimate on. You're thinking 106. How do you feel about 100? I mean, I'm not going to make any money off of it anyway, but it'll be something else. You say 100. I say 106. Well, you say 106. I say... Bye-bye. Hello there, my name is Nimrat Ludwig. <laughs> Nimrat Ludwig, huh? I was wandering around, I saw that gem over there, what do you say? I say it's a cheap thing, so it's all yours. What do you want for it? How do you feel about 25? Get out of my shop. You're thinking 15, I pay 12. 20. I mean, you're getting it below market, but I'm making money on it. Uh, 15, 8. How do you feel about 16? You got any wiggle room at all, darling? Nope. Don't know. Okay, you took it. Good. Thank you. Hi, I'm... I had to shift in my chair. Hi, I'm Cheng Ying Garibaldi. I found something that was sure to be worth a lot of money. I don't know. You'll have to axe me tomorrow. Renaissance axe produced in 1378, not 1738. Digby. It's epic. It's good. It's worth 83 grand. Uh, again, I'm not going to waste an estimate on anything under 100,000. Oh, we can probably make a deal. I just don't know how happy either one of us is going to be with it. How's 50? 63, you know what, 63 sounds good. I only have five things in the shop at the minute, so I can definitely use all the inventory I can get. You have a fridge, does the penguin come included? Hey, what's up, my name's Feng Meyer. I've got something, it will fit wonderfully in your shop. It really won't, I'm trying to get high-end items, not crappy ones. 14,000, that was worth an estimate. Uh, let's talk. My price is 10,000, is what my price is. Let me think. Not entirely satisfied, you'll take it, that's fine. Holy crap, another sailboat? Hi, my name's Ober in Paris. I inherited a little treasure, it could be yours for the right price. Oh, who makes a fake sailboat, really? Sailboat produced in 1972, connected to Communist Russia, belonged to Kobe Bryant. Smith it gets good, it's a leisure. I already know it's a fake. Let's get an estimate on it. 27 million, but it's a fake. Now... I don't know, it looks fake. Let's deal. I'm not giving you 15 million, but for a 27 million dollar boat that I can make a reproduction boat, I have about 5 million. I mean, that's a lot of bloody zeros, but I have some zeros to play with. Okay, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. You can just take your fake boat and sail away on it. I don't care. I'm not gonna mess around with that nonsense. Alright, inventory, how are we looking? 
All right, Marvin's got two days left to clean up. The boat, I don't think I can fix anyway. Uh, that's already locked up. And then we got the axes worth... No I really have nothing left worth any money at all, do I? I mean, it's good I sold all my big-ticket items, but Jesus, I'd like to have something in the store for somebody. Maybe Indiana Jane will come back today. Hi, I'm Leonard Sesgin. I found a unique piece while I was checking the house. It could be yours. It better be worth some money, because I need money, dude. It's epic, it's bad, it's wearable. It's 28,000. Why are you guys selling me garbage? I mean, it's a kitty. I've never said no to a kitty, so I will take it. But I'm not going that high on it. Hmm. No, thank you. I'm done. See ya. Hi, they call me Ginger Caradenes. I borrowed a little treasure. Have a look. It's a pair of chairs. Old chair set produced 1780 belonged to Oscar Wilde. All right, well, 76 grand. I'm not going to worry about an estimate. Let's talk. 83 is not going to happen. 50 might. That's entirely up to you. Nope. Bye. That was a very quick transaction. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Ada Griffin. I was cleaning up the bathroom when I found something. Could this tickle your interest? It's never winter nights, and those are usually worth some money. Wow, this is worth nothing. Oh, for God's sakes, more garbage. I've only got seven items. 114. How do you feel about 85? I mean, that's more than half of what it's worth. So, okay, cool. Inventory. We've got inventory. Hi, they call me Effie Peck. I saw that gem over there. Give it to me. I'll be very sad. It's not much of a gem for that small stack. Okay, you want my old golden brooch? I paid 20. Uh, I paid 15. It's worth 29. You're going to give me 40. How do you feel about 50? I mean, I need more money. You know, 45? Done. Absolutely no questions asked. Hi, my name is Deanna Lipton. That's going to be a Deanna Troy Star Trek reference. I really need to buy that item. You have to sell it to me. Sure. Yeah, I just paid 85. It's worth 144. You're going to pay me 150, and everybody's going to be happy. Yes? 118. I mean, that's less than it's worth, but more than they paid. That's about 125. You thinking about it? All right, cool. Thank you. 40 grand, I'll take. Okay, this is a new thing. Hi, I'm Shen Barger. I just obtained a unique piece. I'd like to pawn it. It looks like one of those wooden practice Japanese swords. Let's talk. Medieval toy produced in 1051. Okay, what are you worth? 65. Looks like pawn it for 30. You want 34. How do you feel about 30? It means 4 grand. 33, I'd say 32. And you seem to like $100 increments, so... Cool. Okay, I got another pawn item I don't need. Hey, what's up? My name is Nile Gates. I want that gem over there. You have to sell it to me. Are you going to buy my sailboat? You are going to buy my sailboat. Okay, how much? I paid six fifty for worth 70 How do you feel about a million even? I mean, I love big even numbers. What would I say if we say 810? I'd say 900 is what I would say. Allow me to say that. That's 9 million, Digby. That's 900. Say 820, how do you feel about 850? Meet in the middle? You don't know? Okay, deal. There goes my boat. Should have kept the boat. Wow, that's pitiful, dude. Hi, I'm Sehun Gomez. I desire that gem over there. You want to sell it to me? It's my $10,000 fridge. You can have the penguin as well, since he got added in for me. 14.6. I'll let it go for market. What do you think? Gonna take it? Yes. Perfect. Okay, now... We have a storage auction. Yes, please. I need more inventory. I've got five items, and I could really use some big ticket stuff. Okay, we got that. Connected to Barbarian Invasions. That looks like it might be worth something. Old 4x4 Toon Pickup Truck. Connected to the Krogzilla Wars. What the hell is this? Oh, Pulp Fiction. Okay, I kind of like that one. That's pretty cool. And I've had one of him before. The... I think it's Ryu is what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure where I got the name Ryu from, but pretty sure. Starting price is a million. Yes, we are definitely going to buy this stuff. I need high ticket items. Am I going to get it that cheap? Really? Okay, a million three. Cool. Let's check the inventory and see if we made money or lost money on that deal. Okay, I paid 159. You were 250, so we made money. 457, so that's worth a lot more than that. 225. The other one's worth more than that. And 498 worth half a million. Okay, so everything we got is actually items for profit. Perfect. Oh, is there anything else we can do? Check, see. Marvin, you cleaned up? No, you'll be ready tomorrow. Okay. 
Well, I guess we might as well open up for the last day. Hi, I'm Dolores Bush. I desire that gem over there. I'll let you think about it. I don't have to think about nothing. Everything's for sale, including my integrity. I paid 63. That's worth 83. You're going to offer me 100. You don't know you're going to offer me 100 yet, but you are. 64, huh? I would say that's break-even money. That's stupid. How do you feel about the more or less market price of 85000 69. I think I could get 70 out of it, but I'm only making seven grand. <sighs> Fine. Root. 7,000 whole dollars of profit. I'm rich. Hi, my name is Zuel Lang. I'd like to show you a little treasure. It'll surely be worth a lot of money. Let's see. Renaissance decorated armor produced in 1353 belonged to Leonardo de Caprio? Oh, Vinci? Leonardo da Vinci. It's got to be Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, what are you worth? Three million seven and not a fake. Yes, big ticket items I love. No, not gonna happen. Big prices I don't love. Two and a half. Three million seven. You are now getting closer. How do you feel about three million? Because I do kind of want the thing. Three million five. I mean, I'm, it's barely break even. Two million seven hundred fifty. Take it or leave it. You're going to leave it. Okay. Hey, what's up? My name's Tulin Zemeckis. No relation to Robert Zemeckis. I kept something in the closet for ages. You'll want to buy it for sure. It looks like Batman. Bat guy. Yes, and I have had a bat guy. I thought he looked familiar. How much are you worth? No idea. Yeah, you don't need to be waiting. 43 is not a thing that's going to happen. 25 might happen. Depending on you. 41's definitely not going to happen. So 35. High as I'm going. Take it or leave it. You took it. You're a much better option than the last one. Good morning. They call me Cena Milton. I want that gem over there. You have to sell it to me. You want my ancient silver medal? I have no idea what it's worth, so make me an offer. 760 sounds more like it's worth a million to me. 870. How do you feel about nine? I'd be happy with 900,000. You don't know? All right, perfect. There's a half a million bucks. Hey, you can call me Nene Liu. I want to give you something that'll fit wonderfully in your shop. Is this the like a V for Vendetta thing again? R for Revenge poster. Okay, so we've had the mask and now we can have the poster. 134, I'm not gonna waste an expert on it. You think 130, I think 110. It's closer to my idea of what it's worth. All right, cool, that's fine. Morning, my name is Whitney Wheeler. I've got a unique piece. Could this tickle your interest? Uh, let's see. Old Knight, produced in 1719, connected to the Sardom of Russia, belonged to that dude. I have no idea who that is. If anybody happens to be watching this and knows who Fausto Cop P is a joke of, just please let me know in the comments, because I'm really curious. Let's talk. 285 is worth 305. 250. Highs, I'm going. Well, that's great. Thank you. Hi, they call me Lewis Moeller. I inherited a little treasure. I want to get rid of it. I've seen this before too, but I don't remember what it is. Wycom poster, produced in 2006, belonged to Carrie Fisher. All right, what are you worth? One million six, and it's a fake. Crap. You know what? I'm just going to take the rap. Hello there. My name is Lawyer Turio. I'm going to go with Turio, not Turiod. I inherited a little treasure. It's surely worth a lot of money. It's kind of cool. I've never seen one before, I don't think. Renaissance decorated candlesticks produced in 1398, connected to the Assassin's Creed expansion. 132 grand. Uh, let's talk. 75. About half price. 140. I do not think so, darling. I'll go as high as 110, and that's it. Otherwise, you can see yourself out. That's what I thought. Okay, now, we should have all kinds of exciting things happening. Restore Leonard just finished the job with Vinmar the Paranoid Android. The new estimated price is... No idea, but you know what? I'm going to eat a few bucks because I want to know before I lock him up in my personal collection. I've decided I'm keeping him. Okay, is there anything else we can clean up? Is there anything worth cleaning up? The books are no. That's locked anyway. You're a pawn. It's not worth anything. You're not worth anything. You're a pawn. Okay, 250 grand is nothing. That's nothing. And that's a little over half a mil, but I can't fix it. That's nothing. Nothing. I mean, 300,000? I could jack it up slightly. 
Can I fix the candlesticks? Oh, they're actually worth less than that. Well, I hate wasting a fix-it on it, but I'm going to do the fix-it on that thing. I may have to redo that in the uh, beginning of the next episode. But yeah, we're up to 14 million again, so we're actually way better off than we were when we started. Unfortunately, our inventory is absolutely gutted at the moment. But I think we'll end as we always do. We will go to the mock auction. We will see what we're going to get for the book. Okay, starting price is 4 mil, so I paid 5. I'd like to get 10 out of it. If I can get 10 million out of this, I'll be completely happy. But yeah, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I'm really glad you guys seem to be enjoying Dealer's Life too. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. It's not 10, but it's better than nothing.